Okay, so we have to go this way to where in Pry Pry Pryor. I can't say that word right now for some reason. Priory. So I'm just gonna follow this little thing on my little mini map on the bottom and kind of sort of hope that it works. Or I should say that it leads me in the right direction. This place looks gorgeous. It really, really does. The big question is, how far is Weyron Pri Priory? Is this the Imperial City? Oh god, what was that? Get away from me, wolf! That was kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Luckily for me, I could heal. I should be jumping everywhere, huh? I kind of want to be in this person, in uh, third person. This has to be the Imperial City, I think. Alrighty. I don't want to jump down because I will die. Man, the running in this game is super slow, isn't it? Okay. It can't possibly be that far, though. Man, this place looks gorgeous. Look at this. I miss this game so much. I'm so glad I'm playing this game, man. It's old, it's dated, and it definitely looks like an older game, but even with that, it still looks great given how old this game is. Because I think this game came out like in March of, 20, of 2006, I believe. Something like that. I can't remember exactly, but it was... 2006 for sure, but I want to say it was like March of 2006. It was a long time ago. Who wants them? Nobody? Who's this guy? Oh, you want some? What's up, buddy? Oh, he's got- he got me! Juke mode! Oh, he's- she still got me. Rude. Alright, let me see. Arrows, sure. I don't want the fur clothing. So I'm gonna ignore it. And heal my wounds. For I am injured. How? Something, I mean, I kind of want to go, to be honest. I kind of want to go into the Imperial City. But at the same time, I want to go to wire it, why, way, way, whatever. Wayern Prairie. Do I have like a quest log on here? Oh yeah, it's on the journal, isn't it? Oh, this is a journal. Uh, is there a way to check quests that I have? This is all spell stuff. Okay. Oh, there's the... Okay, so that's where I'm at. Yeah, this is the Imperial City right next to me. Oh, man. Where in pra uh, Prairie is pretty far. It's right next to Coral. So that's the mission that I have. I only have one quest. Alright. That's good. It's not too far, though. That's the good thing. We're already almost there, but the fact that we run so slow it makes it feel like it's a, a lot farther than it needs to be. I mean, I don't even see it on my map. Your athletics increased? Of course it did, because I'm a badass. And I'm athletic. Look at me. How many people have you met that can jump like this? Sick. Am I a good swimmer? I guess we're gonna find out right now. Cannonball! 
I don't want to go under because I don't want to drown. So, I'm not a marathon swimmer, but better than most. Okay, I know athletics is going to help me in the long run. But it's kind of annoying having to jump everywhere like this. Even though the acrobatic, uh, it helps my acrobatics a lot. It's kind of annoying. And running, just simply running helps my acrobatics anyways. So I'm just going to ignore it. Hey look, it's some deer. That completely disappeared. But okay, I don't know what's going on right now. All the foliage is coming out of nowhere. Up. Uh, Alright, whatever. I'm not going to go out of my way for them. Come on, let's go. Is this it? This has to be it. It feels like it's it. Let's see. It's not. It's not even close. Okay, I take it back. This place is pretty far. But it's gorgeous. So I guess it's just like a nice little stroll in the park. By the time I get there, what is this place? Wood? I, I forgot how to, oh there we go. I was about to say, I forgot how to put it away. Found a yellow tick cave. Just in case the game crashes, I'm going to go ahead and quick save right here. Just in case. You never know with. Bethesda games. Who wants some? Oh. Come here, you little rodent. That was funny. You really thought you stood a chance. I don't want to... I don't really want to discover this cave yet. I want to get to... Coral. Every time I say that, it reminds me of... Uh, what is that show called? Oh. Walking Dead. Coral. What were you thinking, Coral? Uh, I don't know. The good thing is that I got auto the auto walk feature, so I can I don't have to hold down any buttons. It really is an amazing little feature. Not gonna lie, the only reason why I know this is because I looked through the controls. Like at the very, very beginning. It's like a house over here somewhere. The draw distance isn't very good, is it? I didn't even do any uh, graphics changes or anything. I just, whatever it was set on is what I, what I'm playing on. Which, by the way, looks great. Okay, well. Let's go around. Ah! I think we're here. Hold on. Let's look. Yeah, we're here. That is amazing. Alright, where is Mr. Joffrey? I really should have, actually, now that I think about it, I really should have went to the Imperial City. And at bare minimum, discovered something over there. Uh, deliver that amulet. I've arrived at Weir, Weir, Weinun Priory. Now I must take the amulet of Kings to Joffrey. Joffrey? Oh, Joffrey. Where are you, sir? I got a delivery for you. Oh, he's in here, isn't he? Um, hello? Are you him? Yes. Can I help you? You can, actually. Uh, I must speak to Joffrey. He's upstairs. Go ahead. Thank you, kind citizen. Before I do, I want to look around your stuff. 
You have nothing. Nothing of importance. I'm gonna change my view in here. I'm listening. Now that's Brother Piner or whatever his name is. Do you guys have anything in here? It's not considered stealing just to look, right? Can I sleep? I don't think I want to sleep yet because I don't want to be branded a criminal for taking a nap. Stop right there, you criminal scum. Whoa. Whoops. Let's not do that. Trials of St. Alessia. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Um, damn rude. The Empire's, uh, the Empire. The Emperor sent me to find you. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? You have no idea. I was there when he died. You'd better explain yourself. Now. I killed him. I mean, what? Uh, he gave me the Amulet of Kings to give to you, actually. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. Here you go. By the Nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? It was the mythic dawn. Uh, tell the Emperor's last words. Here you as go. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. So who's the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. So how can Oblivion threaten us then if we're protected? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. So the Empire fi uh, sent me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. I've met him. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby. But I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. And where can I find his son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Thank you. I appreciate that. So tell me about the Amulet of Kings. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. Uh, assistance? I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. That That's it? That's all you gotta say to me? All right, let me see. I Your have more to talk to you about. Now should be to find my Bars. One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. I I mean, he didn't seem happy when he when the when uh, the Emperor died. Uh, tell me about the dragon fires. The coronation of each new emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. 
Sounds kind of scary, doesn't it? The Elder Council? The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. Uh, tell me about Martin. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kavach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. There is a lot here, okay? Uh, Merun's Dagon. Tell me about that sadistic SOB. The Daedra Prince of Destruction. An inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaegar Thahn's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. He called him Jaeger Thorn. Thorn. Thought it was just Jaeger. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, what about the blades? Yes, Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. Okay. I don't have much here at... Prior Mabriel and Brother Piner may also be able to help. You should speak to them about it if you haven't already. Oh, uh, yeah, I haven't talked to both of them. Waste no time. All right, let me see what's in here. Steel arrow. Ooh. Steel bow. Don't want the claymore. I need iron boots to complete my set. Uh, I'll take that. I can always sell all of that. I wish there was a steel longsword. That would have been great. Hold on. So iron boots. Oh, this is rusty. All right, let me go back in. I'm going to take the iron stuff. That way, at least I'm better prepared. I'm also not over encumbered, surprisingly. I need to get to a store and sell some stuff. I really do. Hey, sir. Welcome, good citizen. Oh God, that I'm looks scary. Piner, and this is Wayne and Briary, a monastery. Can I help you? I was told you can help me with assistance. Here, perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I saved from my blade's training. You go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our prayers go with you. Thank you. Uh, Anvil Chapel attack? Things go from bad to worse nowadays. Priests murdered on the chapel altar. Oh, what next? Uh, pilgrimage. I think that's from the DLC, right? Oh, yes. He'll be in the Priory House somewhere. Okay, Order of Talos. It isn't widely known, but many brothers of the Order of Talos are also members of the Blades. Chapter houses of the Order, like Wayne and Priory, provide safe houses for traveling Blades as well as our more public religious functions. Blades who are too old for the active service often join the Order as lay brothers. We are honored to have Grand Master Joffrey, or Brother Joffrey as he prefers, as a resident here. Okay, tell me about the Blades then. The Blades are closely linked to the Order of Talos. We both serve Talos, of course, and many of our brothers are former Blades. I myself was training as a Blade when I received the call to serve Talos in a different way. Uh-huh, are you going to tell me the different way? No? What is this? Yes? Oh, I hated this. I never understood it. Like, never. If you guys could describe or uh, explain to me what any of this means, I would greatly appreciate Because I have, till this day, I still have no idea. In each attempt uh, to persuade, you must... Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to do this. See you later, brother P Piner. You, do you have Tell assistance? Us, I know that you are on an important mission for the Blades. Please, if you need a horse, take mine from the Priory Stables. Ooh. Thank you. That's a generous offer, man. Thank you. Go with Talos's blessings. Do not fail. 
You got the better gift, man. I still need to read that one book, though. How do I read the book? Where's Where are the books, first of all? Is it this one? Your block skill increased. I... I'm not reading that. <laughs> Anyone who's followed my channel long enough knows that I can't read to save my life. Who's this? Hello. Hi. Er, er, Eranor. I'm the shepherd here. Eranor's the name. Oh, Eranor. And this is Waynon Priory. I uh, got that. Do you have assistance for me? Well, I normally stay out of the affairs of the great folk that come through Waynon Priory to see Master Joffrey. But go ahead and take this hammer. You might have use of it. And I have others. Not much Repair hammer? for smith work around here, in any case. Well, we both have better things to do than stand here all day exchanging idle gossip. Good day to you now. Yep, repair hammer. That was actually kind of useful. So let me see here. Uh, map? Oh, I have to go all the way to Kavach. Oh, snap. Where's this? Oh, Anvil. Skin grad can I? I can. So cause does that mean I can travel to Kavach? Wow, that's That's actually pretty cool. Can I travel to the Imperial City then? I can. So alright, let's go to Let's let's come inside here. Cause I wanna see if I can find a vendor. I don't remember where the stores or the vendors are or anything like that, so should be pretty interesting to say the least. Crumbling my oh hold on, I need to find the stables first, huh? So I can take that dude's horse. Is this the stables? That's definitely not a horse. I don't think I want to ride it. Alright, let me see here. Well met. Yeah, that one's stolen, that one's stolen. That means I get to keep this horse. Alright. How alright. Maybe it'll be easier in third person. Definitely is. And I got a horse. It's not that fast, is it? It's not as fast as I hoped it was going to be. So if I get off of the horse and I go somewhere else, would I lose my horse? S stay close by, horsey, please. Alright, we're in Coral. That is pretty cool. Okay, so where would the store be? Hey. What does this say right here? North goods and trade. Perfect. I gotta sell some stuff, man, like desperately. Hold up. I'm not gonna do that. Hey, hello. Only the finest wares to buy and barter at Northern Goods and Trades. I'm Seed Neus, the proprietor. How can I help you? Uh I'm willing to teach if you're willing. No. To Does she not sell anything? Farewell. What can I do for you? The worst thing is, no one even knows what happened. People heard the screams, but when they broke down the chapel doors, everyone was already dead. Okay. In Coral we Highlanders treat our God's teachings as rules to live by. Our lives are governed by the Ten Commands. I heard that the Countess is quite upset lately. Apparently someone stole something very personal to her. Okay. Good day. So can I not buy and sell? Okay, so much for trading goods. Let's try this store right here. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. Yes, 
Hi, Mrs. Khajiit lady. Welcome to the Oak Enclosure. This one is Talisma, your hostess. Our rooms and food are at your disposal. Okay, that's great. Only what does this do? Oh, that's how you do it. I did it wrong on the other place. What can I interest you in? Okay. So, I need to go back to that one building that I was. Because I was doing it wrong, apparently. Alright. Go ahead, please. Sell me something. Or business. buy stuff. Aw, oh, she sucks. No, not buy. Get out of here. How do I get into the cell? Is this cell? It is cell. Alright, so you can have that. That. Uh, good. I need you to buy everything for me. I don't need nor want that. Restore fatigue, sorcery. Okay. Respite, no. Sorcery, definitely. Sell these. Yeah, that's good enough, right? So I have 224. What does she sell, anyways? Nothing great. A pleasure to serve you. Thanks, ma'am. Appreciate it. You too. So, at this point, let's just go run around. I don't really want to buy anything. Books. New topic, profit. And a spare a coin. I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. Oh, here, have a coin, man. Thank you, kind sir. Blessing Hold on. Somebody says something about pr a profit. Hello. I'm Castor Scribonia, the writer, author of Woman Gone Wild. <laughs> I I don't know how I should take that. So yeah, Coral. Who is the fairest of them all? Me. Other than myself, the proprietor of the Grey Mare is lovely. She and the guard captain would be a nice couple. If you Anyone say so. Looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for recruits. I'll consider it. Take care. Thank you, ma'am. Man, I'm so happy I'm playing this game. Hi. Hey. Nice to meet you, sir. This is the chapel. Yep, chapel of Stendar. Who are you? I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. How many of you guys are Thank you, kind, sir. running around the streets? Blessings have truly honored the Thank you, I appreciate it, but I still want to know what's going on with you, man. This is a very small place, isn't it? I think there was another location. Hello there. Hi. I mean, another area I could explore. I just gave you a gold, sir. I'm not going to give you another one. Who are you? What do you want? I want a party. Coral's got plenty to eat and good thick walls, and that suits me fine. I don't know what's going on out there in the woods, and I don't need to. Good to know. I've heard they have good magic trainers over at the Mages Guild. Good to know. Back Thank you for your time. Poor old okay. So we already searched one area, now let's go to this side and see just quickly what we could find. Isn't this like the Mages Guild or something? No. It's around here somewhere. Actually, I think it's this one right here. What is this place? Arbor Watch. We got Legolas right here. Who are you? I'm a hunter. Mountain man. 
Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk to you then. Farewell. Take care. Yeah, this is the Mage's Guild. And next door is the Fighter's Guild. Alright, let's go in here. Let's talk to somebody. Ooh, this place looks amazing. I am Alberic Glitter of the Mage's Guild. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. Uh, tell me about the Mage's Guild. You'll want to talk to Tikias if you're interested in joining the guild. Any other leader of a local guild hall can help you as well. Tikias? Isn't that the, um, Argonian? The Mage's Guild has made more than a few enemies since necromancy was banned. Good to know. Take so we, care. we gotta find Tikias. That's Alamagn Al Alamantium Skeleton. Ah, Tikias, there you are. Greetings, citizen. Is there something I can do for you? Are you perhaps interested in joining the Mage's Guild? Yeah, of course. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm super surprised I remembered that he's, uh, an Argonian. Yeah. Well then, it's no small matter. Membership in the Guild is quite an honor, but also a responsibility. Do you wish to join the Guild? I, I said yes already. Very well. You are now an associate of the Mage's Guild. The full guild hall is now available for your use. That was easy. You'll need a recommendation from each local guild hall in order to advance further. Until then, the Arcane University will be closed to you. Aw, oh, man. Welcome to the guild, and good luck to you. Thank you. So, what's the Arcane University? The Arcane University is the seat of the Mages Guild in Cyrodiil. Located in the Imperial City, it houses the leaders of our guild. Sounds cool. Tell me about this place. It's good that you've joined one of our local organizations. It helps you make the right connections. Okay, well, tell me about the Mages Guild. We're all better off now that necromancy has been banned from the guild. It's just safer that way. Recommendation? I'm afraid I can't just write one out of hand. That would be against protocols, you see. Oh, come on, you can if do it. Perhaps you can clear up a small matter involving Irana. You can prove your loyalty to the guild and earn my recommendation. You know what? Tell me about Arana. She and I have an unpleasant history. She does not care for guild regulations and errantly believes I am misusing my powers. I have seen that she is in town. Though she has not approached me, I know she wants something. I would like you to find out what it is. Determine what she's after, and how we may be rid of her. I do not want her here, spreading her lies. Okay, well, tell me about the rumors. Archmage Traven is the first to take such a hard stance on necromancy. It upset more than a few people. Make haste. That, I wish to be rid of Arana as soon as possible. I mean, I'm not going to get rid of her the way you're saying, but... Library... I don't want to go into the library. Let's go to the Fighter's Guild and see what happens in there. Uh, Fighter's Guild, that's over here to the left. What? How did I get on this side? Fighter's Guild. I'm more interested in this anyways. Um, hello? Hey, you. Let's hear it. Kirk's Grove oh, Bar Off. You look tough. Wanna join the Fighters Guild? Yeah, you read my mind. If you're interested, see Velena Dantum in Coral, or Azan in Anvil, or Burz Grokash in Shedinol. Well, that didn't help. Can you tell me about Rana? Haven't you seen her around town? She's either at the Grey Mare, or she's skulking around the Mages Guild, it seems. Good, tell me about the Fighters Guild. If you're looking to join up, you should speak with Velena Dunton. You'll find her in Coral. She can tell you all you need to know. Am... Aren't I in Coral? I'm thinking of doing some traveling. Just to see the world a bit. Good to know. Be seeing you. Who are you? Oh, this is her. Greetings. 
How may I help you? Are you perhaps interested in joining the Fighters Guild? As a matter of fact, I am. The Fighters Guild is always looking for new members. If you've got a clean record and don't have a bounty on your head, we may be able to use you. Are you interested in joining? Lucky for you, I am both of those. So yes, sign me up. Excellent. You are now an associate in the Fighters Guild. You should report to either Azan in Anvil or Burr's Grow Cash in Shadenel for contracts. You couldn't give me anything? Give me an advancement. You will advance through the ranks of the Fighters Guild when you have proven your merit. As you complete contracts and fulfill your duties, you'll be promoted to the next station, accepting the associated duties and responsibilities. Be aware, though, that your rank can be stripped for failure to uphold the tenets of the Guild or at my discretion. Rude. What can you tell me about Arana? All I heard is that she's looking for some sort of book. You'll have to talk to her if you want to know more. Uh, well, what can you tell me about the Fighters Guild? See Azan in Anvil or Burzgro Kash in Shadenal for contracts. Yeah, you said that like six times already. Any rumors? I could be wrong, but it seems to me there's something shady going on at the Oak and Crozier. Congratulations. All right, let's take a quick look. Ooh. Ooh, yes, that armor. What can I do for you? Another rat job. Not me. No thanks. Let the bottom boot do the rats. <laughs> Unless you want the gig. Nah. I like that armor. Uh, to the tower. Can I sleep here? You may speak. Who are you? I'm the Fighters Guild champion, Modrin Orain. I don't believe we've met. Advancement? You will advance through the ranks of the Fighters Guild when you have proven your merit. As you complete contracts and fulfill your duties, you'll be promoted to the next station, accepting the associated duties and responsibilities. Be aware, though, that your rank can be stripped for failure to uphold the tenets of the guild, or at the sole discretion of the guild master. Yeah, so I'm told. Okay, they just they're just repeating Fair the same way. old stuff. This guy's a champion and he's using regular iron armor. He doesn't seem like much of a champion to me. So I'm not impressed. What is it? Alright. Let's can I fast travel from here? To Kavach? Ooh, I can. Hey, there's my horse. I've heard a rumor that a strange doorway has appeared on a small island in Nibbin Bay. I should investigate. Ah, that's a... Come on, run while there's still time. The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. Oh, no. Run from what? God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvach last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls. Gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls, blasting fire that swarmed around it, killing. The whole city can't be destroyed, can it? Go and see for yourself. Kvach is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. Man, that sounds horrible. Uh, how did you escape? It was Savly and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out right through the city gates. Savlian says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. Damn, relax, bro. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can. That sounds horrible. Oh, we got a little military camp here. I'm just gonna leave my horse there. Who is this? Tavia? What? Uh, what happened to Kavach? A gate opened and Deirdre poured out. Oh no. Everybody ran, or they died. 
I don't know how the fire started, but it burned Kavach to the ground. That, I guess, uh, the Emperor was right. Have you seen Martin? If you mean the priest, I don't think he made it out of the city. Very few of us did. But sadly, Mattias might know more. He's in charge of the city guard that are defending the camp. That's not good. Tell me about him. You'll find him at the barricade at the top of the road. He's still trying to hold what's left of the guard together. I'll see what I can do to, to assist. Take care. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Who are you? I'm just tired. Bolden. What do you want? Relax? First of all, what happened? Late at night, while we were all asleep, the door to oblivion opened. Deidre came out and set fire to the tent. Many people died, but some got out alive. Thank you. Farewell. I appreciate it, man. That is horrible. Uh, but, okay, I'm not gonna pronounce that. I don't have much. I lost everything. Tell me what happened. I don't like to talk about it. I don't remember much. I woke to screaming in fire. I ran. I was lucky. I survived. My friends weren't so lucky. At least you're alive. I'm through talking to you. Okay, rude. Who are you? Sindrid. You picked a bad time to visit Kavach. She's pretty. Go look for yourself. The town is gone. And most of its people. The Daedra came out of the gate in the middle of the night. People who fought died. People who ran, they at least had a chance. Wow. Okay. Bye. Toodles. That's everyone, huh? Okay. Is this where I'm supposed to go? What's What's over there? Oh. That's the strange door. I want to take that off. No. Uh where is the main one? I think this is the other DLC, I think. Oh, this is the one. Let's go. No, no rug button. Yeah, perfect. Who are you? Not gonna pronounce that. The Imperial line is dead. The covenant is broken. The enemy has won. Uh, covenant? The Imperial line is dead, and the gods have forsaken us. Where is our blessing? Where is our protection? Where are our gods? The enemy triumphs, and we die alone. What enemy are you talking about? Lord Dagon is the enemy. He is the Prince of Destruction, and the Daedra are his servants. That's not good. The chapel is cast down, and the faithful, my friends, all dead. The enemy is won, and we are destroyed. We mustn't give up. Tell me about the Prophet. He seems to be different than your usual self-proclaimed holy man. Maybe what he says is true. That the attack on the chapel of Debele is just the beginning of an assault on the church itself. Yeah, I think that's the, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the, the pilgrimage is the DLC mission. I'm through talking to you. I kind of want to do it, to be honest, because you get a pretty cool piece of, like, a uh, pretty cool armor set out of it. I should probably get my sword out. That's very, very weak. Oh, no. The sky is changing. What does this mean? I wish I could run faster because this is... This is pretty slow, not gonna lie. Oh, God. Oh, that's scary. It's like we're going to hell. Oh snap! The Gold Coast. Are you the one I'm supposed to talk to? 
Oh, snap! There it is! Don't worry. I got I got some moves like Jagger too, man. I'll help out. Stand back, civilian. No. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. No. What happened here? We lost the damn city. That's what happened. It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. That damned oblivion gate blocking the way. So what will you do now? The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. Yeah, that's I have to not try good. And protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. I like him. He is a he is a hero. Uh, tell what happened, to Kvetch? My home, my goddamn home in flames. It kills me that I can't get in there and do something. We couldn't have been any less prepared for this. Seems like they came out of nowhere. There were just so many of them. If only I had a way to strike back at the enemy. But we can't leave the barricade until that oblivion gate is closed. Uh, do you know where Martin is? You mean the priest? Last I saw him, he was leading a group towards the chapel of Akatosh. If he's lucky, he's trapped in there with the rest of them. At least safe for the moment. If he's not... Dead. Okay, so he's probably in the chapel. Oblivion Gate? Some kind of portal to Oblivion. The enemy used them to attack the city. They appeared outside the walls and Daedra poured out. They've opened one right in front of the city gates. Until that gate is closed, the best I can do is try to hold these barricades. That's crazy. I mean, I could help. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Uh, no. Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? Yes, I just said yes. I'll do whatever I can to help. I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks on the ground where they were. The great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. Uh-oh. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not... See what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. Sounds scary. But let's do this. Hold on, I gotta take care of this guy right here. Are they going back to, to defend? This is actually pretty cool barricades. Is this the only one left? So one thing's for sure, we have to destroy that. Ooh, I want these arrows. I kind of hate that they have carry weight. Look at them holding holding up strong. We got two archers and him. Oh my god, look at these pillars. It almost looks like there's like the blood. It gets blood coming out of them. Oh man, this is scary. Let's look around though. Oh, this guy got tore up. All right, man, that is the Oblivion Gate. That looks intense. Look at it. Okay, I guess. Hold on, I got I gotta tell something to the guy over here. How could the nine let this happen? Sir, angry with us? Why is he smiling, first of all? Sir, should I go down? I need you to tell my family that I fought with honor. But if I shall make it, I shall give you all the credit in the world for being the true brave man that you are. 
and doing whatever it is you could and had to do for the safety of this city. But should I fall, know that I fell a hero. Let's go! How many times do you gotta say that? Alright, let's go ahead and go in there, finally. 